Stand back a bit. Stand back a bit so we can see it. Stand a bit further back. Hello. And Hello. can you say this is annoying this orange? This is annoying orange. My favorite thing is Spider-Man. Far from home. 2019 movie. The best thing about Fortnite is doing the dances and having fun with your friends. See, I've seen your Star Wars in the cinema. Because I like going to the cinemas a lot. Here's Chelsea, here's Man City, because both, both teams I like. Because I'm very passionate about it and I really love that team a lot. They play really good and they play like fast, they don't play like slow like Liverpool. And she's my favourite musician. It felt like very, very fun and exciting to, to do. I can just do this without messing up. Creativity is so important for well-being. I think one of the things that we've discovered with, with COVID-19 and the lockdown is the impact that's had on mental health, but also the impact that being creative and creating art, if that's visual art or music or drama or dance or whatever it is, is really important for sustaining good mental health. These pupils are the most creative people I've ever worked with and there is a big cultural gap for these young people if we don't start working towards that within schools and you know exposing them to these um, practices then how do we expect them after they leave us to engage culturally within our society it's not just about those creative subjects it helps across the whole curriculum and doing the love letters has definitely helped them develop those skills further. Very quiet, very polite. And then when that video came, you were very excited. Yeah, you know. I like the yeah. 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 And that's what's really exciting about being a fan. It's a whole world that you can be a part of. That is what we call fandom. Over the last two weeks, uh, I've been facilitating a series of workshops with two schools. Uh, we've had Garrett Park School in Wandsworth and Fulham Cross Academy, and we've been exploring the theme of love letters. We chose to focus in on fandom as a focal point for the idea of love. I wanted to really think about the way that we talk to students with learning difficulties about communication, about private passions, and the way that we share those uh, in the public space. What are my favourite things to watch, to do, or to play? You might have lots of answers, you might have lots of ideas. Starting with their fandoms, I mean, come on, that's where their cre creativity is, you know, it, that's the core of their creativity, what they care about most in the world. And facilitating this side of the curriculum is essential in making them feel valued and a part of our society culturally when they leave us. Over the course of two workshops running in tandem across each school, I facilitated a series of discussion points and workshops based around the idea of different types of fandom. And in week one, we had an amazing time exploring their fandoms and getting them to talk about their thoughts and their feelings, using zones of regulation to find a universal language for talking about the way that their bodies responded to engaging with their chosen fandom. Because ultimately, the goal was to get them to speak out on their own terms. What do you do? Do you read books? Do you watch movies? Do you games? What do you do? Uh, movies. You watch movies. So let's start with the movies and then think like... Communication skills are often difficult for our pupils, so being involved in projects like the Love Letters uh, really gives an opportunity for the pupils to develop those communication skills. When I talk about communication skills, I'm talking about speaking, but I'm also talking about listening. Listening to other people is really key and something that they need support with developing and the idea of what you would say to people, asking questions, answering questions. Communication is one of the most essential parts of being a human being. 
it makes you happy to communicate with others on your own terms when you're happy to do it. I think that friendship and those close bonds that we have with people are important in, you know, keeping us alive and happy. First things first, can you tell me what it says on the screen, will you? Um, this is Alfie. Alfie loves annoying orange. Hello. And can you say, this is annoying this orange. This is annoying orange. Well, he's drawing shapes, but he's also trying to draw the characters. We've got Pear, which is there. We've got the not so nice grapefruit. I've chose to make a poster about anime because, as it says here, my mind is being so calm and thoughtful to get just watch this, and my body feels like a burst of energy. Melby is a famous singer and TikTok girl, and she is my favorite musician. One day I would like to go to a concert with my sister and my mum. I like watching Marvel films with my sister and my father and when the cinemas open if there are any Marvel films I'd like to go and watch it with them. My oldest sister got um, into it when I was about three or four years old and my father was a fan of the comics when he was younger so I grew up watching some of them and then as I got older I watched more of them and I became obsessed with them. And what does Vincent love? He loves alphabet. Yes. The alphabet. Vincent has his teacher Thomas to help him yes. because Vincent gets quite shy. Yes. Okay. Okay. What's your favourite letter? A. A, A, you like letter L, M, N as well? Yeah. Yeah. And Vincent loves the alphabet because the alphabet never changes. So A is always next to B and B is always next to C and it always stays the same and it never changes. So it makes Vincent feel, how does it make you feel? Happy. My favorite my, thing, my favorite thing is Spider-Man, Far From Home, 2019 movie, I draw it, a picture of Spider-Man, I do like it so much. I watch films, video games and comics. Who used to live in New York City? Mum and Dad. Yeah, and Vincent used to live in New York City. Yes. Did Vincent ever see Spider-Man? Yes. Did you? Wow. Because I like going to the cinemas a lot, and there's a lot of good films at the cinema. I've drawn all the films I've seen in, and they are very good. And I'm seeing a lot of blackness in your image. Can you tell me why? Because this is the cinema screen and it's always black and dark when I go there. As you can just see them before they go on DVD. And you've not seen these films before and it's on a very big screen. In fact, Chelsea are on a very popular football team. They play at Stamford Bridge and they won against Leicester City in the Premier League yesterday. I like them because of Mason Mount, Timo Werner, who are my favourite players. Can you remember how he said watching Chelsea made him feel? I remember jumping up and down. They're very excited, I think. To, yes. Because they were a very good team and his two favourite players is Mason Mount and Timo Werner. Yes. First of all, they have the, my favourite colour, which is blue, and they have, they have really good, good players, high quality players, and, and that was the first team I've ever supported when I was ever since I was young, and I'll be supporting that team for the rest of my life. And if you met someone from another school who said, oh, I love Chelsea too, yeah. what would you say to them? I think great choice. My favourite thing is Fortnite. Fortnite Battle Royale is a game invented by Epic Games. The best thing about Fortnite is doing the dances and having fun with your friends. And do Fortnite fans know all the dances? Yeah. Can you show me any dances? There's the floss. Did you see him doing the dances? Yeah. Can you do any of the dances? Yeah. 
of glass. Oh yeah? Can you show me? Sweater over that. Show us the floss. It's like this. It goes this way. No, I don't want like this. Well, if I've chosen to draw Star Wars, I, I think the Star Wars in the scene of last time was in 2015. Uh, I was here with my old friends. I really do like Star Wars, and, it? and it's a very, very good film. If there's one thing that I say to Avengers, uh, I love Star Wars. It's nice to me. And I'll tell them, what's their favorite Star Wars character? Do you have a favorite character? Yeah. My favorite character is Dark Vader. Uh, my fandom is FIFA Mobile, but it's a handheld video game. So uh, but it's not real life though. I play FIFA with my brothers, and we like playing football with my friends because I be, because um, it is because it's enjoyable. As you can know, this month Chelsea are through in the Champions League final, playing against Manchester City, and I, and I'm just. And I'm just really feeling excited for Chelsea for hoping that they will win. I just like how, how crazy are the fans are, and they're just getting happy and they're just hitting the drums and and because they, they love football so much. Yeah. Can you tell me what you have drawn a picture of? A football match. And why have you drawn a picture of a football match? Because I love football and it's so much fun. Who is your favourite football team? I think Chelsea. Okay. And what is the best thing about playing football? What did he say? He says he's, he's talking about his favourite football team, which is Chelsea. Nice. And what would you say if you met someone from another school who liked football as much as you? Always, always ask awesome to play football with me. Would you play football, Daniel? Well, yeah, well, yeah. I don't mind. If he asks me to play football, then I'll say, I'll, I'll say okay. Like, I want to, like, I want to see how he plays football. So the first session really uh, was great for the kids because special interests, what you love, either an object or a TV show or a person or whatever it is, special interest is really um, a key thing for our pupils. They know a lot, particularly pupils who are on the autistic spectrum, they know a lot about their one fandom. So that was a really good way to engage with the pupil straight away. And then the idea of linking up with a school, I think it was a bit difficult for the pupils to grasp at first, um, but actually seeing the, and hearing the other messages and for the, the pupils making comparisons and similarities um, was, I think, really beneficial for them to know that they're kind of not alone in the thing that they like and other people, or, or the opposite as well, to know that actually not everybody likes what they like this week we had a chance to expand out and think about other people's fandoms. And that mode of empathy is really important to me as an artistic practitioner. It's really significant that we foster opportunities to walk in other people's shoes. And I was frankly bowled over by the way that the students at Garrett Park and Fulham Cross Academy were able to do that. It was humbling and inspiring. Talking about pen friends, that's one of the key words on the first page. Does everyone know what a pen friend is? So basically, a pen pal is when you, is if, you know, if, you're, if you're doing the same thing, so if you're that for another guy that's for that for example, country, you can write, you can write, you can write back to you. Just Visiting practitioners coming in, it's a lot of change for them. And starting with something that they love, automatically fills them with confidence. Those barriers, you know, of this being unknown and new and things like that, that will help to settle them because they're like, oh no, but I know the subject matter. And because I know the subject matter, then the social difficulties are reduced because I'm comfortable in what I believe in and it's all about that, you know, that the self-advocacy. So listening to them talk about what they care about and using that as a starting place, they feel empowered, they feel strong and therefore confident enough to interact. Dear Alfie, so I've heard that your fandom is Annoying Orange, and I have watched it too. I will tell you about my fandom, which is anime, and the reason why is that it teaches me lessons that inspired me. The question here is, what is your favorite Annoying Orange joke, and why? Yours sincerely, Damien.
Dear Damien, thank you for your video. I really enjoyed watching it. After watching and learning about anime fairy tales, it make me, makes me want to watch some. I am happy to hear you also enjoy watching The Annoying Orange Show. How many have you seen? Hope all is well and hope to hear from you soon from Alfie. Imagining that their words and what they're doing is going to be heard and seen by someone else. And that's a difficult thing to grasp, I think, because often that doesn't happen, especially over the last two years. It's been awful. We've all been very much literally stuck in our own bubbles, so they are forced to fit in with things that don't necessarily suit their way of experiencing the world. And actually, in starting with something they love, you're respecting that. And with respect comes social. So you said that you really liked one of these films too. Can you remember which one? Spider-Man 2. So that's another similarity. You like Spider-Man 2 as well. Dear Christopher, thank you for your film message. It was good to hear about your Spider-Man movie. I feel excited about Spider-Man movies too. What is the last movie you watched? Nice to see you. Dear George, thank you for um, for the video. I've never seen any Marvel movies, but I would like to see it after seeing your video. Dear Jessica, when I watched the video of you talking about your fandom, I started thinking of questions I would ask. When did you become a fan of Mel B? What Mel B song is your favourite? Were you sad when the Spice Girls broke up? And who's your favourite movie star? Your sincerely Jessica. I also like watching the content I with like I like with my family. Captain America and Ant Man are my favourite. My fandom is all about Marvel. Yours sincerely George. Dear Nathan K, I saw in your video that you like Star Wars. Star Wars is good. I have watched one of the TV shows. Who's your favourite character? Darth Vader. My favourite character is Darth Vader. Do you play Fortnite? Fortnite is a good game. Why is Fortnite a good game, Nathan? Because you can verse people online and you can have fun. That's right, you can play against people online and have fun with them. Yeah. Yours sincerely, Nathan A. Oh, dear Nathan A. I like the way you talk about Fortnite, and it was amazing to hear you talk clearly. I would like you to come to the park and we can play together, dance together, and having a picnic. Yours sincerely. Okay. One of the challenges for um, freelance artists when they come into a school like ours at Garrett Park is differentiation. Within the, a class of nine, you can have quite a wide variety of pupils. So within my group at the moment, we have autism, visual impairment, hearing impairment, cerebral palsy and ADHD. Um, and also each child is individual in their own way. And there's an expression, if you meet an autistic person, you've met one person with autism. Nobody is the same. It's been a bit of a roller coaster working in these two schools, but what has been really exciting and galvanizing for me has been watching all the students engage in their own unique ways with the task. The risk was always gonna be that the classrooms would descend into chaos, but what we saw was a pair of amazing classrooms with fantastic teachers and really interested, curious, compassionate young people who sat up and looked and listened and thought and engaged with the task at hand. Dear Nathan A, it's weird because we have a Nathan in our class as well. You like Fortnite, Nathan A likes Fortnite because the more battles you win, the higher level you get. Hey. My favourite game, FIFA Mobile, you only play on handheld and very few players get to decide to spend any real cash on the game. Yours sincerely. The creativity is, is, is flowing immediately because you've tapped into something that they, that they love and care about and therefore can engage those, 
those skills. And adapting the pace, I mean, some of them were drawing their pictures for an hour and 10 minutes. And that level of focus and attention and care over what they're doing and that pride of, you know, this is going to be seen by others and I, I want to take ownership over that and make sure I do the best that I can do, is what we strive to do. That's, yeah, and it's been lovely to see them doing that. Dear Edison Ahmed, who is your favourite player? Because my favourite player is Mason Mount. Do you know the song, Blue is the Colour? It is the song of Chelsea. Do you have any of the kit and have you been to the stadium? I really liked your video. I also support Chelsea myself as well. I like that you said that I love Chelsea. And I'm happy that, that, that you're a Chelsea fan because, because I'm a Chelsea fan as well. You seem like a good fan. I have uh, been to two Chelsea parades, but I've never been to a match before. I was happy as well when Chelsea beat Leicester City in the Premier League, but in the FA Cup I was feeling mad. I really enjoy every moment I've watched and you made my day happy. Thank you very much. Yours sincerely, Christopher. I think any opportunity for them to interrelate and connect with other peers is amazing because I think we can get so stuck in our own bubbles and that interaction today was so nice to see that that's something they've been thinking about and reflecting on positively because they know that it's going to be a positive day. They know they're going to be able to express themselves. They know they're going to be happy in these sessions. And I love the questions that keep coming up. What's the name of the school again? Who's my partner? You know, what am I going to do? Like, you know, that that sense of, yeah, they care about what they're doing and that's, that's important. I love football, like you. We both think football is good. You support Chelsea and go, so do I. Who is your favourite player? I like to watch rugby too. Do you like to watch rugby? You'll think to me, Daniel. Dear Daniel, I wanted to say that you like playing football. I heard that your favourite team is Chelsea. So for my fandom, it's, it's Chelsea and Man City. I also wanted to ask you three questions. Are you good at football? And do you like playing football in a park or Astrid turf? And who is your favourite football player and why? Neurodiverse learners have so much to give to wider society. They don't deserve to be stuck in bubbles. It's really important that they're given the same opportunities as a child in any mainstream classroom will be given. And that includes the opportunity to think creatively, think imaginatively, to think in terms of empathy and compassion, thinking outside of their everyday boundaries. My life has been completely changed by learning from and working with young people with special educational needs. And I kind of feel anybody who comes in is lucky to be working with our young people because there is always something to learn from the way that they, they see the world. Thank you for your video, I enjoyed it very much. I also enjoy Spider-Man and all of the same things and feelings you get while watching the movie. You like Spider-Man? And the film. And the films. I watched a video about you and saw that you are fandom of the alphabet. Spider makes me happy. Spider-Man makes you happy. The alphabet makes me happy. Make me happy. What other things do you enjoy doing? I look forward to hearing from you. You're sincerely from our fan. I like to play Spider-Man games. I walk and watch Spider-Man movies. Best witches from. I lived in New York, New York. like Spider-Man. Have I even? Have you ever been to New York? To be New York. Yours yes. sincerely. I finished. Vincent.